Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. First in a little series I want to do of showing three pens from my collection, three relatively random pens, different price points, different brands, all of those sorts of things, and uh, just uh, explaining why they're in my collection and then doing a quick writing sample with them. I want these to be relatively brief videos, so let's get cracking. The three pens I am showing today are these. So what we have here is a Jinhao X450 with a Knox nib in it, a Gamma uh, Jumbo Acrylic Pen, and the Diplomat Excellence B. So let's get started today with the Jinhao. So I just have some Clairefontaine paper here, which I will do some writing samples on, but this is the Jinhao X450. This is a model of pen I'm very fond of. In fact, at one point I had about 20 different finishes of this pen, a few more probably. And uh, it's a really affordable fountain pen, around five Australian dollars, including postage. It comes with the standard number six size nib made by Jinhao. Uh, and this is the red marble vision version. You can get a couple of like, little hits of that red coming through. It's a quite a nice finish. Um, the model itself, the grip section is sort of polarizing. A lot of people don't like that. People actually generally prefer the grip section on the X750, which is a very similar pen model from Jinhao. I don't mind this section, um, but what I love about this pen is A, the fact that it is a cartridge converter pen, B, it comes with a number six size nib, so you can do what I've done here and swap out the nib. And as I said, I put a Knox nib in this, as you can see there, which I think I got from Birmingham Pen Company um, a little while ago, I don't think they stock them anymore. But it's just a really beautiful, uh, simple nib, uh, and in a very simple, but nice and very affordable, pen body. So I, I have a number of these still in my collection. Um, I have, I think, about eight or nine still, uh, and they all have nibs from different brands. So there's some Knox nibs, there's um, nibs from Mr. Pen in the UK, who did, did some uh, right-footed italic rinds, which you'll see these over time. Some sort of standard Yovo nibs from Goulet and Edison and places like that, uh, and then a couple of other random nibs I picked up along the way that fit in it. So as I said, this is the Jinhao X450, let's see how it writes. So we have the Jinhao X450 um, with a Knox medium nib. And the ink here is Diamine Mozart from the music set, a lovely sort of sepia brown sort of colour. Um, I quite like it. I like this pen. I like this nib. It's very smooth. Uh, it's pretty wet, like really. I don't think it's, it's certainly not dry. Uh, and it's pretty reliable. Um, and the fact that I can get these nibs or could get these nibs relatively affordable and put them on a pen body that I like, that has a nice weight, it was always going to be a good option. So that was the Jinhao X450 with a Knox medium nib. Um, one of the first pens from my collection. This is the next pen. This is the Gamma Jumbo Acrylic. You can see Gamma uh, there on the body. Um, this is not a small pen. This is the Jumbo Acrylic. So this is the X450, uh, which is not a small pen. And you can see it's considerably bigger. And just for those who are familiar, the Pilot Varsity there. So just for scale, you can see it's a big pen. It's got a big section, um, a big ink capacity. It's just a really good size, solid pen. I've got this inked with Robert Oster Blue Water Ice. I've been using this for a little while, so it's very run down now. Um, and it's at that point where it's starting to burp a little bit, particularly like under these lights, uh, which are quite warm and the heat in my hand on a hot summer's day here in Australia. Um, so, but I, the reason I've kept this pen is for two reasons. Firstly, I really like the way the pen writes. The nib is just a Gamma branded nib there. Um, it's a fine, it writes well, it is smooth, it's not super dry, uh, which I really like. Uh, the pen writes well with most inks, particularly wetter inks. Uh, but also the reason I keep this is because for reviews and for like, reviewing a pen case or something like that, it's really great to have a pen that is just like a honkingly big pen, uh, just to show sort of what fits in a lot of those cases. Um, so let's do the writing sample with this pen. So this is the Gamma Jumbo Acrylic. Uh, it's got a fine 
nib and the ink is Robert Oster Blue Water Ice. You can hear, pretty smooth nib, definitely not dry. And the size of that section just makes this a really nice pen to hold. The bigger, when you're writing with a big pen like this, you definitely don't feel any pinching down on the pen. So it sits very comfortably in your hand and you have to do very little. And with a pen that writes so well, like under its own weight, this is a pen that I love having in my collection. I don't ink it up a lot because it does have such a big ink capacity and with a fine nib it takes quite a while to work through um, a full tank of this ink uh, but really I think it's a really lovely pen and uh, one I just actually really enjoy having. The final pen here today is the Diplomat Excellence B. Now a lot of people are more familiar with the Excellence A which is like the bigger brother of this pen. Uh, this pen isn't so readily available anymore in fact I'm not even sure it's being made. Um, I went into a a pen shop here in Melbourne, it was Pen City at the time, and just basically said, this is my budget, what would you recommend? Um, happy with Steel Nib. Um, it was one of the more expensive pens I'd gotten at the time, uh, and they suggested this pen, and uh, I was over the moon with it. This is in my collection for a number of reasons. Firstly, Diplomat make really lovely pens. It's got a great classic look, and sometimes when you need like something a bit more professional or executive to sort of take into a meeting or a rehearsal or whatever the case may be, a pen like this is great. Also, because this is a, a standard cartridge converter pen, I tend to use this pen when I travel a lot. Not super expensive, but super reliable. Um, but if you put a, I will often use this with cartridges. I tend to use cartridges more when I travel for the uh, convenience. Um, and so this pen takes them really nicely. It writes really well with most inks. Uh, and also it's just a really lovely looking pen. It's got a great sort of classic look. I love that Diplomat clip. Um, it's strong, it's sturdy, uh, and just a really, really reliable pen and a pen that I love. So we have This has a medium steel nib on it. Uh, the nibs that a Diplomat use are Yovo nibs, but they tune them all themselves. And the ink in here is Diamine Eclipse. So you can hear, very smooth pen, pretty wet. As you can probably tell, that's my, um, you know, my preference is for a wet pen. Uh, but this one is just beautiful and smooth and with cartridges, converted ink, bottled ink, whatever the case may be, it's just a really lovely pen to write with, which is why another reason why I travel with this pen uh, a lot, uh, why it stays with me and why it's still in my collection. So there we have it, three sort of random pens from my collection, three I happen to sort of have inked up or I inked one of these up, the uh, Jinhao just for this uh, particular video. We had the Jinhao X450 with a Nox nib inked with Diamine Mozart, the Gamma Jumbo Acrylic, which is just such a wonderful uh, Indian made pen there uh, with Robert Oster Blue Water Ice with a fine nib, and then the Diplomat Excellence B, um, the little brother of the well-known Excellence A, or A2 as it is now, uh, with Diamine Eclipse in a medium nib. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video uh, interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is also listed down below. Uh, if there's a way you'd like to support the channel or uh, you know, providing an item for review or sponsoring a re review or something like that, uh, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.